Paul Maskey and the Minister responsible for funding the College, Stephen Farry. Welcome to you both. Stephen Farry, first of all, do you accept this looks like a serious body blow for St Mary's? Well, let me be clear, this is not about St Mary's as one college. This is about a system of teacher training in Northern Ireland that's not sustainable. It is very costly, it is very fragmented. We're not living up to our full potential in terms of world-class teacher education, which has to have a, a real infusion of, of research. And we're not teaching, training our teachers in a manner that's consistent with the direction of travel towards a shared and, and integrated society. But, so, but, but, but St Mary's believes, and many others believe, the reduction in funding that you've announced will inevitably lead to its closure. That's the only conclusion. You're removing payments of £1.1 million from a budget of 4.7. That's 26.5%. I have a very tight budget settlement. It is somewhat better than it was in December, but I'm still facing some very difficult decisions in relation to further education and our university, where places are still in jeopardy. The Premier acts as a subsidy that rewards small, small institutions. It's very, very hard to justify that type of, of, of situation. In effect, it costs more to train a teacher in the context of both St Mary's and Stranmanus than it does in the context of our universities. And I, okay. can't, over, I can't stand over payments that if I continue with them means I have to cut places, which means stu stu uh, potential students in Northern Ireland either leaving Northern Ireland or not having any opportunity right. to study at all. So Paul Maskey, there you go. Uh, in effect, and I'm paraphrasing, Stephen Farry's hands are tied in the current economic climate in Northern Ireland and he can't do anything else. Well, see, I don't know why that's the case or not and I don't believe it is actually because when the Minister did sign out prior to Christmas the, I suppose the, the shocking news with regards to the cut and then the removal of the premium. It was a complete shock, I'm sure, to Samaris and as well as to Stramillis. And I think that was a, a, a deep shame, actually, what the minister did, because he didn't have to do it. Because if the minister was doing it on a fair and impartial basis, and then the same cut would have been put out through all the same universities, what the minister did at that particular time was put a 30% cut on Samaris and Stramillis and a 10.8% cut on all the rest of the universities. Because it's That's already mass, more expensive to yeah. train uh, teachers in St Mary's and Stranmillis than it is anywhere else. Well, but you're getting first-class education. You look at the results well, you from get Mary's. you're first-class education well, at Queen's and Ulster University as well. Yeah, but look at the results from St Mary's. They're absolutely spot on. 94% of the students who come out of St Mary's after six months will find employment or go back into education right. with regard to that. And that's a great you, result. Okay, and that's I, well I, world I, renowned. Is this simply about parish pump as far as you're concerned? Is it the case for you that the location of a teacher training college in West Belfast will always be more important than overall teacher training provision across Northern Ireland? No. I mean, yes, actually, well, is the answer, well, isn't it? Of course, well, let me just say this. One second. St Mary's Teacher Training College has been in West Belfast for over 100 years and has been delivering a first-class education service to many thousands of students right throughout the north of Ireland and beyond for many, many years, for that 100 years. And it's continuing to do so. But it's part but of the, the system that needs to be changed. Uh, well, but, but the, well, does it need to be changed? Because well, well, the minister working. thinks it does well, need to be changed. But, but I heard the minister say you the other day... You might not like that, but, but he's the minister and he says it yeah. does. But I heard the minister say on an interview um, the other day was that a million pounds, for example, because the premium is one point million pound, the premium costs... Um, you could create another 700 students with that one point one million pound. But what the, the, the minister is doing is going to close the Marys and put a 1,000 students out on the street and put 160 people who are employed in St Mary's out, the out on the street. Are you that's, put what, that's what it does, We, 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 need, to, we need to find a system that is sustainable and trains the right number of teachers. At present, we're training too many teachers. For, for example, we're, we're talking about potential redundancies in our schools. Those people who are going through our, our current system are struggling to find jobs as teachers. They may find other employment, but, but not as teachers. And that's why, what, what we're paying for. We have a report uh, which actually has, uh, has set out the differentials in terms of cost. So people are, have been well known about this in the sector. We also have a report commissioned by a group of international experts that gives us a range of options as to how we can do things differently. And, and there are four options, yeah. and you like two, which is a two-university approach or a single institution. Yeah. Neither of those, as far as I read it or anybody I've spoken to uh, read it, uh, particularly favours St Mary's. Do you accept that? Well, I certainly have set out my view as to what are the, the op optimal um, outcomes. And I, St Mary's the, isn't part the, of the that. The panel were pushing in that, in that direction as well. Right. But I do want to talk to all of the stakeholders to find a way that, that meets the criteria of a, of a sustainable system but also uh, can find agreement. And there's two important considerations, Mark, that we have to look Just at. Just bri briefly. One of which is how we can continue higher education in some form, whether it's teacher training or some other form of higher education on the St Mary's site, potentially. And secondly, how we can... Uh, 
reflect diversity and pluralism uh, within a, a single system of teacher education. Right. Because we will have to, get to train for the Catholic system. Uh, that, that's, that's my point. Yes. Just before I come but back to Paul Maskey, done, done what systems. account have you taken of the fact that St Mary's is a faith-based institution? Well, in Glasgow and Dublin, situations where there's a lot of diversity, the, 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 we have had Catholic institutions that have merged in with universities and have continued to address faith-based education. Right. We can okay. do that in Belfast. So, Paul Maskey, why can't we do that? Why, why can't St Mary's merge with, for example, Queen's University? It is a constituent college of Queen's already, so that the faith-based education that it provides can be protected, as the Minister is suggesting. Yeah, because choice is a, a, a model that has to happen as well. Because if you even look through the education stuff, through schools, parental choice is a good thing. So the faith-based education that you receive on St Mary's site and West Belfast is second to none. Yeah, but the point but, is, but, hang but, on, but you can Mark, still have a faith-based education, it's just not necessarily but, on St Mary's. And you're right, because St Mary's are all a academically working with Queen's University and I think that's key and that's what's happening and I wrote to the Minister last week after I met with him earlier on the week to say keep the Premier but then let's enter, enter into a conversation on how we can work right, that out. So what would you cut then? You want to keep the Premier of 1.1 million, what would you cut? Well, well listen, what would you cut? Because well, the, the man beside you has yeah. to make that difficult yeah. decision. But here's the thing is, prior to Christmas when the Minister sent the letter out where Stephen Fry says that we couldn't get any more money, Throughout that discussion and through the, the, the Stormont House agreement, Sinn Féin and other parties, were, when signed up the agreement, were able to get an extra £33 million in the yeah. state. So you've got budget. an extra £33 so, million, you could yes. have kept the premium. Well, Mark, let, let me put this point. This yeah. point's very important. Yeah. The Minister has spent tens of thousands of pounds on reports that get done, and he set out since 2011 to close St Mary's because it's part of his party's policy. Have you? And I think I, it's I, I, is that, is that right? trying to reform a system that is unsustainable. We, we cannot afford it. And if we are to continue paying the premium, it will mean loss of places right. in universities. Okay. The cuts may be less than they were in December. They're still real, and we're still places in jeopardy. But you got an extra 32, 33 yes. billion. You yes. could have kept the premium for yep. St Mary's. Well, in, in, How do you respond, just finally, to Paul Maskey's charge there at the very end of this interview that this is Alliance policy? to close St well, Mary's it, College in West Belfast. And it's not a land's policy to close any institution. What we're trying to do is build a new system that works for the future of Northern Ireland. But that and, might and, lead and to the closure peoples. of St Mary's. And last month we were facing a cut of 1,000 places in university, 16,000 in FE colleges. We're still facing potential cuts of, of a few thousand in FE and a few hundred in, in our universities. So okay. we, we have a real choice to make here. All right.